Hi to all, welcome to my 9th class on chapter on real numbers class 10. In this class, I am going to discuss revisiting rational numbers and their decimal expansions and the last exercise, exercise 1.4. Let us go to the class. Let me take a rational number 1 by 8. You divide 1 by 8, what did you get? Do you ask? While dividing 1 by 8, you get the answer 0 0.125. Here, the division process ends. That means the remainder you are getting 0. So, this kind of decimal numbers, we can call it as terminating decimals. Or we can say 1 by 8 having a terminating decimal expansion. Now let me consider another rational number. Let it be 2 by 3. Divide 2 by 3, what will you get? Do you answer? You get 0 0.6666. Here you can see the division process is not ending or not terminating. So, this kind of decimal 0 0.666, we can call it as non terminating non terminating repeating decimal because 6 is repeating. So, non terminating repeating decimals or non terminating recurring decimals you can say. So, if you take any rational number, it will be either terminating or non terminating. Now, let me take some rational numbers. Here, you have 4 rational numbers. 3 by 8, 13 by 25, 11 by 15 and 5 by 6. Here, without actual division, I can say which of them are terminating or which of them are non terminating? Let me the first rational number 3 by 8. I can say it is terminating. And 13 by 25, that also terminating this one. Thirteen by twenty-five also having terminated in decimal expansion. Eleven by fifteen, it is, it has non-terminating non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Five by six also having non-terminating repeating decimal. Let me take one more example. Let me take 43 by 40. What about this? This rational number also having terminating decimal expansion. So here 3 by 8, 13 by 25, and 43 by 40 having terminated in decimal expansion, whereas 11 by 50 and 5 by 6 having non terminating repeating decimal. Let us check it by actual division. Let us look at 3 by 8. If you divide 3 by 8, you will get as 0 0.375. That means it is terminated. Now, what about 13 by 25? Do you yourself? 13 by 25, you get it as 0 0.52. Now, what about 11 by 50? 11 by 15, you get it as 0 0.7333, etc. etc. That means here you are getting. 5 as remainder in all the cases. So, 3 is repeating. So, 11 by 50 
the decimal expansion of 11 by 15 is non terminating repeating decimal. Now, what about 5 by 6? 5 by 6, you get it as 0 0.8333. Still, here also 3 is repeating. So, 5 by 6 has non terminating repeating decimal expansion. Now, 43 by 40. 43 by 40, you get it as 1.075. That means it is terminating. You are getting 0 as the remainder. Now, how did I say without actual calculation whether the given rational number is terminating or non terminating? Let us check it out. Here, I classified terminating and non terminating repeating decimal, but we discussed that earlier. Here, 3 by 8 having terminating decimal. Now, let me factorize the denominator. Here, 8 is the denominator. Let me factorize it. What did you get? That you know, 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2. That is 2 cube. Here, 13 by 25, denominator is 25. Do factorize it. That you can write this 13 by 5 square. 43 by 40. Do factorize 40. What will you get? 40 you can write it as 42, 20, 2, 10, 2, 5. So, this you can write it as 43 by 2 cube into 5. Now, here in non terminating 11 by 50, that is 11 by 3 into 5. 5 by 6, it is 5 by 2 into 3. Now, look at the denominators. 3 by 8, the prime factorization of the denominator is 2 raised to 2, 3. Here, 13 by 25, prime factorization of the denominator is 5 square. And here, 40, it is 2 raised to 2, 3 into 5. That means, the denominator, prime factorization of the denominator contains 2 or 5 or 2 and 5 both. Or in common, we can say in a rational number, the decimal expansion of the rational number terminates if the prime factorization of the denominator is of the form 2 raised to some integer, positive integer, into 5 raised to some integer, or 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Here also it is 2 raised to n, n is equal to 3, and 5 raised to m means 5 raised to 0. In common, you can say it is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n. So if you are given if you are given a rational number and you have to check whether it is terminating or non-terminating, do factorize the denominator. And if it is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, you can say it is terminating this. Here you can say non terminator repeating here it is 50 and it, it is 3 into 5 not in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m so it is non terminating repeating this. So we can write as a conclusion that let p by q be a rational number such that the prime factorization of q that means Q is the denominator. E of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m where n and m are non-negative integers. Then x has a decimal expansion which terminates. And if it is not in the form, not in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, it will have non-terminating, repeating or recurring decimal expansion. So, that you can write it as let p by q be a rational number such that the prime factorization
prime factorization of q is not in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m where n and m are non-negative integers then x has a decimal expansion which is non-terminating repeating or recurring decimal now by using this condition we can check whether a given rational number is terminating rational number has terminating or non-terminating decimal expansion let us look at the question here is your exercise 1.4 some rational numbers are given you have to check without actual long division the given as a rational number has terminating or non-terminating decimal expansion now do factorize the denominator find out whether it is in the form of 2 is to n n into 5 is to n now here look at the question question number 4 question number 8 and on here 15 by 1600 6 by 15 6 by 15 whether it is terminating or non terminating 15 you can say it is 3 into 5 of course it is not terminating isn't it but here look at the numerator 6 you can write it as 2 into 3 and 15 you can write it as 3 into 5 3 and 3 cancel you get 2 by 5 now it is terminating so because 5 it is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n so it is terminating so if a rational number is given if you can write it standard form do it first then factorize the denominator do yourself here you have a rational number 7 by 80 now without actual division can you find out its decimal expansion that also it is very simple now factorize 80 what will you get 7 by 80 you can write it as 7 by 2 raised to 4 into 5 this you can rewrite as 7 by 2 raised to 4 into 5 let me multiply 5 to both numerator and denominator what will you get that is which is equal to 7 into 5 into 5 into 5 is 125 divided by 2 raised to 4 into 5 into 5 cube you can write it as 5 raised to 4 now 7 into 125 is equal to what do multiply yourself you get it as 875 divided by this 2 raised to 4 into 5 raised to 4 you can write this 2 into 5 4 raised to 4 that means both having same exponent so this you can write this 875 divided by 10 raised to 4 10 raised to 4 means 875 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4 that is 10 thousand 10 raised to 4 means you have to put 4 zeros this is very simple by solving 875 you write down and then since here it is 4 zeros take 4 places of decimal in the numerator that is 1, 2, 3 already there put 1 zero point that means 0 point 0, 8, 7, 5 is the decimal expansion of sin by 80. That means without actual division also you can find out the decimal expansion. And sometimes the question is asked after how many decimal places it determines. So you can do in this way and find out its sense. Now look at the question number 2. Write down the decimal expansion of those rational numbers in question number 1 above, which have terminating decimal expansions. From this question, you might have found out the terminating decimal expansion, and using the same method what we discussed earlier, 
you can find out its decimal expansion without actual division. For example, here 6 by 15 has terminated decimal expansion. That is, here this is 3 into 2 by 3 into 5, which is equal to 2 by 5. Now multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. What will you get? It is 4 by 10. That means it is equal to 0 0.4. That means you have to make the denominator as 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Then it will be very easy. Accordingly, you change the numerator. Here is your last question. The following real numbers have decimal expansions as given below. In each case, decide whether they are rational or not. The given expressions are rational number or not rational number. That you have to write. If they are rational and of the form p by q, what can you say about prime factors of q? If they are rational, you can definitely say the prime factorization of q is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n. So, first part only we have to do. Look at the first question. It is very simple. 43.1234567810. After 9, it terminates. So, it is a rational number. Now, look at the second. It is not terminating here. But look here. 120, 120, 120, 0. That means it is not repeating. So, it is non-terminating, non-repeating. This we can say it is irrational. Now, what about the third one? It is 43.1234567812345678. It is repeating. So, it is a rational number. In all the case, Q is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n. Do yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.